Ever felt sudden pangs of hunger in the middle of the day and even after having a snack you still feel extremely lethargic? Is it true that even after setting up the home workstation with that big monitor and that comfy seat, you still find your back aches and your headaches persisting? And worst of all, is it also true that even after having all the leafy greens in the world, you still have problems dropping a deuce? <laughs> but seriously, constipation, hunger pangs and lethargy all usually have one common reason, dehydration. Yup. We are so focused on worrying about our food and calories and proteins and vitamins that we often forget about drinking water. And no, having black coffee and juice and carbonated drinks does not count. Why? Well, I'll explain that and all the basics of hydration along with all the shocking body troubles that you never linked with dehydration in today's episode of The Whole Truth Academy. But before I begin, please do hit that subscribe button and follow our channel. We are a small food startup and we spend all our marketing budgets in making this content and keeping it free. And it's your love that keeps us going. Okay, let's dive in. Why should you drink water? I'm sure you've had your mom, your doctor, your gym trainer all tell you to drink more water. But why? I mean, of course, dehydration makes you thirsty and lethargic. But most of us drink enough water to keep thirst away. And yet, the doc keeps saying, you're not drinking enough water, have more water. Why? First up, fun fact. Human beings can survive without food for up to two months, but we can't survive more than three days without water. With just that one data point, I'd say water is fairly important for all bodily functions, no? Well, here are some of the deeper reasons why water is so important to a healthy life. Now, as we know, dark yellow pee is a telltale sign of dehydration. But did you know that back aches and headaches might be so too? So many of us complain about back aches and headaches from sitting at a desk for far too long and we quickly blame it on all of them computers and our sedentary lifestyle. And that's true, those things do play a big role. But an equally big role might be played by a thing as simple as water. You see, the discs in our spine are cushioned by a fluid that's 88% water. And this cushioning in our spine lowers the risk of back pain and prevents our body from developing more serious spinal conditions. This cushioning fluid resists compression and acts as our spine's shock absorber during everyday activities such as walking, running and sitting. This CSF or cerebrospinal fluid that surrounds our spinal cord also surrounds our brain and nerves and is dependent on proper hydration for functioning well because hey, that's what it's made of, water. So dehydration will decrease the production of this fluid and cause cognitive dysfunction aka headaches and lower cushioning in the spine aka back pain. Here's another fun thing. As you'd know, water is a zero-calorie drink, right? So, scientifically, it should give you zero energy. And yet, whenever you're dehydrated, you feel tired and lethargic. Now, why would that be the case? Turns out, besides quenching one's thirst, water is also the ultimate source of energy for the human body. Even though it contains no calorie content, water is the medium through which most chemical reactions in the body occur especially those metabolic reactions involved in energy production. So there, zero calories, but super important for energy. Here's another one. Usually one blames low fiber foods for causing constipation. Like, oh, I didn't have my greens yesterday. That's why I haven't pooped well. But did you know, one of the most common causes of constipation is dehydration. You need water in your body to let that stool pass. So there, the simplest of drinks, water, affects everything. Your mood, your productivity, your energy levels, your physical comfort, your mental wellness, all of it. There is very little our bodies do that isn't touched by water. Which brings us to the next question. When and how should you drink water? 
in simple words, there is no wrong time to drink water. Unlike food, water should be consumed throughout the day so you can meet your daily 2 to 3 litres of water intake. Problem is, what all counts towards this 3 litre target? We think anything that has water can be a substitute for a glass of plain old water, but that's just untrue. Let's start with a morning routine. The first thing most of us need is a strong and large cup of coffee or tea as we wake up. We gulp it down thinking, wow, water, hydration. But just because you used water while making it, doesn't mean it counts towards water for your body. In fact, the opposite. The caffeine present in these drinks is a diuretic. This means it will actually take water out of your body rather than keep it in. Notice how you pee more after drinking coffee or tea? This is the reason. To understand the effects of caffeine in detail, do check out our previous video. Back to the morning routine though. When you wake up, you're already dehydrated. Remember, you've had no water for the last 8 hours. And the first thing we consume is a diuretic. And we do it thinking, wow, it's counting towards my water intake. Talk about a double whammy. Now, come 12 noon and you have your lunch and maybe some juice with it. And in the evening, it's time for some chai and you want to gobble down some more coffee to stay awake and push you through the day. You get the drift. We spend half our day setting ourselves up for dehydration because of caffeine. And the other half having sugary foods that also increase dehydration at a cellular level. Why? Because hey, osmosis. Meaning water moves from the cells into the bloodstream where all the sugar is present. The result? Even more dehydration. So, allow me to emphatically reiterate, nothing is a good substitute for water. And there is no bad time to have water. In case you really despise water, the best option is to infuse it with some orange or cucumber or lemon or even have nimbu pani, minus the sugar, no sweet and salted, okay? Because remember, nothing else will hydrate your body like good old pani. Which brings me to our last point, hydration hacks. As you see by now, drinking water only to quench thirst is a bad idea. Water does so much more and hence in our AC offices where the signal of thirst as it is gets subdued, how does one remember to drink water? The average adult needs 12 glasses throughout the day, so we are talking a minimum of 3 litres of water. You need even more if you exercise and sweat a lot. And the biggest reason we don't hydrate is, we forget. Even I am guilty of this on busy days. So here's a quick list of my hydration hacks. 1. Start your day with 2 glasses of water as soon as you wake up. This will kickstart your digestive system, help you pass your bowels and contrary to popular belief that says only caffeine or cigarettes help you move your morning bowels, water is actually equally efficient and much better for your system. 2. While at work and on the go, always have a bottle of water with you and sip on it throughout the day. On your desk, glass bottles are of course better than plastic. And lastly, for every cup of coffee or tea that you drink, drink at least one cup of water so you're not robbing your body of all of that sweet H2O. Finally, veggies are high in water too, so if you're not particularly keen on eating your greens, drink them. But of course, don't strain that juice, that's where all the good stuff lies. That's it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can allocate all your mind space to tracking your water intake, not when we release our next video. And hey, it's been 10 minutes already, go grab that bottle of water. Ciao for now.